She might be an easygoing mother, but F-51 has successfully got her young kittens through the worst of the winter. Spring is just around the corner. But data from F-51's collar reveals disturbing news. That doesn't make any sense at all. The email is an alert. Mortality data means that F-51's collar hasn't moved at all for 18 hours. It may just have fallen off, but what's concerning is that the GPS data shows that F-51 and M-85 have crossed paths. While Mark's research has shown that mountain lion fights are rare, the signs are ominous. Mark heads off to solve the mystery. On his way, he scans the snow for clues. Something's going up and down here I want to look at. Here she is. Here they are running across. Look at the size of M85's footprints. Big, right here. The trail leads Mark right towards the GPS point indicated by the collar. This is it. F-51 and her family came down this chute and they must have been making noise, kicking rocks or calling, kittens playing, who knows. And M85 comes up right here, right off his kill. And they engage for the first time right here. And it's boom. It's just covered in cat fur. These cats are actually fighting. In 10 years of studying mountain lions, I've seen this once before. Fur everywhere. Look at them, they've rolled over and they've gone downhill and there's the first sign of blood. You can see they've slid down the hill down here. Let's just keep following it down. Oh my gosh, I think I can see something from here. Ah, this is exactly what you don't want to see. Ooh, it looks bad. Unbelievable. Ah, oh. It's F-51. The easygoing mother has been killed by a bite to the head. 51. How many times I've seen her in the wild, slipping around a corner. This is a huge loss for us, a huge loss for the project. I'm just going to remove the collar. And so she started a wild mountain lion, and she'll end a wild mountain lion. One question answered. We now know what happened to F-51. 